Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gentalion, and welcome back to Slime Rancher episode 17. As you can see, I've gotten the more plorts into the gate, so I think it's ready to open. Let's go see. Oh, okay, so it was a rock port that I needed over there. It was just a glitch that I didn't sing. Seriously, this song's cute. Ancient ruins. All is lost is eventually found and lost once more. Uh, you are a phase lemon tree. If I recall correctly... You have to splash it with water? Well, I guess you have to wait until the phase lemons are ready to go. Saber slime, or at least its descendant. Though believed to be long extinct, the saber slime lives on through the Largo slimes in the wilds. Saber slimes were believed to be one of the fiercest predators during the Jurassic period of the Far Far Range, a time when gigantic slimes roamed the planet. Though saber slimes are carnivores, the Largos in the wilds display a curious habit of bundling the rare Kukudoba fruit in bundles of sticks, mud, and slime that become rock hard in time. Only Ogden's specialty engineered cuckoo crackers are capable, capable of breaking them. So if you remember those glowing green stones, those were the cuckoo, crack, cuckoo crackers. A swift, sterling shimmer of static slime. Quicksilver slimes are among the rarest slimes of the far, far range. Thanks in large part of their only known habitat being owned exclusively by Mochi Miles. Quicksilver slimes are lightning quick and feed on electricity. This is generally accomplished by their moving really fast and slowly accumulating the static charge they generate. However, Mochi has decided to speed up the process and created a method for feeding them energy in a far more direct fashion. And here's World. Ancient ruins. Hidden behind a vast mountain range, the ancient ruins stand as one of the one of the few known unnatural structures on the far, far range. Their origin remains a mystery, as do the strange occurrences that happen within. Home to the quantum slimes that seem to express many other possibly realities of their being, and phase lemon trees that do not remain in one time or place for very long. The ancient ruins defy logic and expectation. Only one thing is certain in the ancient rooms. Within its deepest chambers lie its greatest secret. Okay. The wilds. The wilds are an ancient, untamed collection of islands that are home to an enormous population of feral slimes. All of these slimes are large descendants of saber slimes, one of the oldest known species of slimes. Ogden Ortis once explored the wilds and discovered the rare Kukudoba fruit growing within. Since then, he has contracted out the most dangerous task of collecting these fruits to anyone willing to take on the risk. Nice place to visit if Mochi ever lets you. <laughs> the Nimble Valley is a wholly owned property of Mochi Miles and it's the only known habitat of the exceedingly rare Quicksilver slimes. Mochi uses a complex system of propriety, proprietary electrical generators to call quick silver slimes out from hiding and then a modified backpack to feed them charges of electrical energy. The Nimble Valley is also rigged with a series of warp tech satellites that instantly transfer quick silver plorts into a rancher's backpack because according to Mochi, having to back up plorts manually is for chumps. 
Okay. Now... I really... Remember, this place is like a maze, not only just because of how it's built, but also because of the doors. And there's some quantum slimes all the way down here. Mix you with my sabers. Boom! Though, if I could get phase lemons, that'd be great. There's another phase lemon tree. I said, I think I saw one. Ah! Oh, Hobson! These strange glass doors are a good reminder you can't always have both. Hit that switch over there all you like and both doors will never be open. Sometimes you gotta choose one path or another and there's no way around it. But you know what? Either the path you choose is gonna make you hurt... Oh. Either path you choose is going to make you hurt for some... hurt some for wanting... for want of walking the other. Life is filled with doors like these. H. He's talking about his desire to adventure more. And... I'm curious. His desire for more adventure and... But also he's also talking about how... He, he like really likes Thora. Aren't they? Who do you think construction constructed these ancient rooms and for what purpose? I visit this place and ponder that question often. Only one thing is for certain. These folks like slimes. Eventually I came to realize what this place was for and how to utilize it. Will you do the same? H. Now there are uh, at least two gordos I know of that are here. One's a boom gordo and the other is a quantum gordo. However, there's a small matter of There's a small matter of I kind of need a map first. I need the map pad. So I can tell where I'm going. Oh, Rustro. Okay. Now the boom sounds like the briar hands best. Probably won't end up doing that. Uh, quantum slimes like phase lemons the best, which is why I'm so interested in getting a phase lemon tree. But I think you have to wait until a certain point, so until it basically kind of pops back into existence, because it's only there part of the time. Of course, then it's the trick of figuring out, finding one while it's still in existence. 
I was, I was, I thought I could recall. I think it's after you have one of your own and you're trying to pick the lemons that you have to, uh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Phase lemon! That's nice. Okay. Just make sure I, I don't accidentally. Well, that's one. Now I just have to find the map pad, which I have absolutely no idea where that is. There you are. Wonderful. Boom. And I have already looked up where the Boom Gordo is, just in case I've managed to find that map. And I'm actually a little further along in here than I thought I was. But I gotta completely turn around. And head in this direction. In order to get to the Boom Largo. Yikes. That would not have been cool. Now where am I? This way? Yes, this way. Yep, there you are. I see you, you blocked the air. How uh, would you get out of there? So actually... I have no chickens for you, but I will get rid of my crystal, like so. stony hand. Yeesh. trick is gonna is to get enough chickens maybe I'll go back because I have a bunch of stuff that I really want to keep yeah that might that might be a plan head back now or you know just kind of Keep on heading forward. I don't think I'll make that. I don't think I can get high enough. Okay, so what 
direction am I heading right now? Yeah, I probably have to open up that particular gate. I don't think you can really do anything with it, just kind of decorative purpose kind of deal. But I'm heading back anyway, so. Onwards and awkwards. I'll really be grateful when I get a teleporter. A lot closer to, than the one in Dickel Quarry. Yeah, so it was a glitch that guy did not sing. Anyhow, with this I can, um, ouch, use my saber ports with my quantum slimes. Though, so keep in mind I'm gonna have to feed them all chickens. And I can plant a phase lemon tree. Just remember, when I want to harvest it, I have to soak it with water. If I recall correctly, it's how you harvest the phase lemons. Boom. Okay, we're back. Oof. Oh, right. I put all my saber ports in a corral in my science area. Now where is my port collector? They're not here. I'll have to go back out to the wilds to get him again. Here I thought I was being smart, but no, it probably didn't even activate because there's no slimes in. Oh shoot! Here I thought I was being so smart about that. Well, there's the face lemons. I'm very disappointed now, but I better get them some fruit. I've got plenty, so it's not a big deal. I'm still very disappointed. I was so proud of my kind of cheating the system a bit because I didn't want to fuse my saber plorts with slimes that did not. I did not. I already had. I mean, I well, I already had plorts for. Oh, I just want one source of every plort. to put one, two, three, four, five, six. Because you guys can teleport out of your thing if you're not fed. Boom. So that's all for, for the quantum slimes, and okay, my plan now is to go back to the ancient ruins. I really can't wait till I can find a t teleporter that gets me there quicker, because yeesh, quite a trip. But really, considering I, I now I now know where the oh wait, silly me! I wanted to gather chickens here, 
so I can feed that boom slime. Because getting all the chickens over there is kind of ridiculous. Especially since their favorite is the briar hen. The only hens I saw over there were stony. There's no way I'd get enough. So, get myself over here. And... Because I pretty much got an infinite supply of hen hens that kind of dwell here. So I can gather them up into the needed number, which is 50. But I'm going to have to call Curtain Call here. So, if you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye! <laughs>